beautiful day. We're headed over there by Anacortes Marina. Sunrise, no wind. We are going to pull the mast off from home again this morning. We did just actually get lucky on the weather because we had scheduled the crane about two weeks out. So Mike and his wife were all ready to go and zipped off. Nothing else to do. We had a 10 o'clock appointment and uh, we were checking out tugboats and stuff. It's like a two mile trip over to uh, Seattle Yachts, which is by Anacortes Marina there. So it's, it's nothing and uh, zipped over. It's like home again beat me over here. Oh, here we go, Bob Perry boat. I just gotta check those out. The last thing we had to do was move the boat up and work on pulling out about half of the mast wedges. Uh, we took four of the eight out and then it was just waiting for the crane. Whole bunch of scallywags down here, getting ready. We've got our rigging instructor there, Professor. Either way. Yeah, scallywag in training. Good morning, there's Quinn. Hello. Quinn Helper, rigging instructor, Northwest Rigging, helping us out today. It's perfect weather. We're gonna get this uh, wishbone dropped down first, and then there's no standing rigging, so we'll suck the mast out of home again. This is where having the experts really helps out. You know, Quinn teaches a, our class with Matt, had his gear, jumped in his bosun's chair, popped up there and tied a line on uh, the crane. The boom isn't terribly heavy, but you got to get that wishbone out of the way. And then we rigged uh, another strap, of course, uh, with a downhaul and got everything set and finished removing the wedges from around the mast and just started bringing it up and came out real easy the only thing we had to slow down just a little bit for the vhf cable and the anchor light and stuff but just like that boom mast out of the way it sure is nice not having standing rigging there's another shout uh, another shot big shout out to um the seattle yachts with the crane right there they donated a couple hours to the program which is money that will go into our our accounts to help fund things we do here at marine tech for labs and such and we just flew it over northwest rigging also lent me the uh schedule college the trailer to transport the mast and so big wins all the way around um, where we can use that that extra money to fund the program so also while we're at it we brought the wishbone home mike wants to do a good inspection it's been 13 years and you know we say every 10 years or so it really is a good idea to work on on the rig, so it's time. We did it, so I'm very pleased. The mast is on the trailer, the boom is on the trailer, and now the hard part is to get it off the trailer at home. That's right. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go unload it, and then we're ready to haul this boat to Marine we're Tech. Ready to haul and get started. Love it. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out. All right, got a big mast up there. Okay, it was a little bit of a challenge getting that mast through the trees back to, to Mike's house in the woods there. His workshop's just around the bend, 
but he decided to, um, he's doing an addition on his porch. He's got a bunch of beams up there already, some timber. Try to get a little protection in case a tree comes down. It hasn't happened lately, but when you have a expensive mass like this, you want to make sure you do everything you can to protect it. So uh, Mike said they lifted it with four people when it came up from California. Uh, six was a much better way to go. That thing's kind of heavy. And so, but it was all set up. Mike had everything ready to go. That's why we love working with Mike. And now there he is there. It's all set, ready for him to inspect, work on new VHF antenna, lights and whatever. And so he's getting that ready to go. But now we're ready to haul the boat. Down here on Sea Dock, Northern Marine, Nord Havens, all sorts of big boats is when Mike left this morning, I'm supposed to be teaching a lesson here soon, but I saw this giant schooner and it is so nice out. I decided to decompress and take a walk down the dock. I gotta go see what this thing is all about. Okay, well, even on wide angle, I'm having a hard time getting this whole schooner in, but what a cool boat. It's kind of on the big side though. Tied up on the end of Sea Dock here at Anacortes. So the crew just pulled in this morning. I got a little intel on this thing. It's uh, that back stick on the schooner rig, 140 feet. 10 foot draft they're waiting there's that monster low off in the pacific ocean they're gonna head to costa rica through the canal and, and go have fun so kind of cool the things we get to see here in anacortes while we're training technicians <laughs> 